right, YouTube, welcome. We're gonna do a video on facing a part. So we're gonna face this part. Right there, we're gonna face 100 thousandths off. So we got a program here. Here's our Mazak screen. To start our new program, you're gonna go left soft key, and then you're gonna go program file, program, program file, to see what programs you have. And I see that I have some open programs here, so I'm gonna use program four, okay? So to start a new program, you go left soft key, program, on a program screen out, and then you go work number four, input. Okay, so now you have a blank screen to work with. Now that you have a blank screen, you choose whether you want ISO or Mazatrol. Well, you want Mazatrol. Then you're gonna fill out your header. This is the program header up here. So now you're gonna fill out, you're gonna hit the material that you have for the auto feeds and speeds. And we're gonna use carbon steel. That's what we're cutting is steel. The OD max of the workpiece is two and a half inches. So under OD max up here, we're gonna type in 2.5. The ID minimum is nothing. There's no hole there, so we're gonna put zero. The length of the workpiece is three inches, so we're gonna put 3.0 input. The work face that we're gonna face off is 100,000, so we're gonna put 0.1 input for the work face. Last but not least, we've got max RPM. That's gonna be your G50 if you're G-coding and your max RPM is gonna be 2,500 with a 10 inch truck in there. Okay, now, as you cursor down, you can start the program. Well, there's three portions to every maze control program. The first portion is the header. So we're gonna go turning, and you pick what you wanna do. Do you wanna do bar, copy, corner, facing, thread groove, turn drill, turn tap? We wanna do facing. So we're gonna hit facing. And after you get facing, it asks you your finish allowance in Z. And the nice thing with Maze Control is that whatever you're on, you're always going to be asking you down here, it's going to be a, a, a explanation of what the program part is. So finish allowance in Z, we always like to leave five thousandths in Z when we're facing a part off. After you hit input, then the second part of the program comes up, the tooling header. Okay, so we already did the header, which is facing. Now we're doing the tooling header. So it auto-picked tool 1A, which is perfect, okay? So right now we did uh, facing. Now we're doing the tooling. We got a rough tool and finish tool. Rough tool, finish tool. We're gonna cursor over, bar out, or, or uh, general out is good for a tool. One inch, looks good. A, looks good. Uh, machining priority, don't worry about that. Now depth of cut. If you look down here, when you get to the depth of cut, you can hit auto. Carbide auto or high speed steel auto or whatever tool you've got. We're gonna hit carbide auto and then look what happens. It inputs in a depth of cut and fees and speeds. Well, the depth of cut's too much. So right away, we're gonna come over here. We go to our 110,000 depth of cut. We're gonna change it to 25. We're gonna to go to our feeds and speeds. And we're gonna change our surface footage to 350. Change our feed rate to 0.012. We're gonna give it an M8 to turn the coolant on. You don't have to, but it's just a habit. I always give it an M8 over there. The finish tool is a lot easier. We'll cursor down to the finish tool. That's all you've gotta do is cursor over and uh, it says finish Z, that's an additional finish allowance. We do not want to leave anything. So we hit zero. And then when you get to there, you can hit your auto set again, carbide auto, and then it puts in your feeds and speeds. We're gonna slow our surface footage down to uh, 400 and our feed rate of 0 0.008. M8, turn our coolant on, and then when you hit cursor down, now you've got the actual program. Okay, so Maze Drill has three portions. You got your header, facing. You got your tooling header, which is your engineering data chart. Then you've got the program. Okay, well, if we're gonna start facing at two and a half inches, then our start point X is gonna be 2.5. If 
We're gonna start at Z. We're, if our work face is 100 thou, we're gonna start machining at 100 thou. Our finish point X, like when is, the, when is the finish facing? X of zero. And our finish point Z is gonna be Z zero because that's where our finish face is. Okay, now roughness, we're gonna go feed rate, 0.008, input, and we are done with our facing program. Okay, so now we have to go end right here because we're done. So if you come down to the soft keys, about halfway over is end. We're gonna hit end and then that ends the program. Okay, so after you got your new program called up four, uh, first you gotta, you gotta teach your zero, okay? So when you teach your zero, you gotta do that in the position screen. Right now we're on Maze Control program four. So we're gonna go to the position screen, but we're on position three right here. So we gotta make sure that we go work number four input so that our position screen matches our program screen. That's super important. Okay, because when you go to the setup page, the setup page is tied to your position work number. Okay, so position work number is four. Okay, now we can go ahead, we can open our door and go to hand jog. I'll do a separate video for this, so I'm gonna go kind of fast. We're gonna come up and we're gonna touch the face of our part. Okay, we touch the face of our part here. Okay, after we touch the center first, now we gotta teach our Z0. So we're gonna go left soft key, setup info. Your cursor down one cursor, and it gets to your Z offset. And it explains it down here. Z offset teach. So we're gonna go teach, because we wanna teach it. Teach point one input. And so what that does, you go to your position page. And you can see that your Z says one inch now, or 0 0.099999. Go back to our setup page. We got a cursor to our jaw number. We always use jaw number two. Give it a grip diameter. That's your stock size, 2.5. Tail stock is unused. Reference to tail stock is 22 inches on this one. Then you're done. Okay, now you can go back to the position page. Make sure it's on the right work number. Make sure it says Z of 100. You hand jog away from your part. Come up and X. You go to memory. Reset. Turn your rapid down. Cycle start. Okay, your keys are off, so you gotta make sure you turn your edit keys off so you can uh, be in run mode. And there we go, there's our tool coming up. Kind of hard to see. Tool coming down. And there is facing our part. Let's take a 25 thou depth to cut. And so each one is taking 25 thousandths. The next one will be the last rough cut. Then it takes a finish pass. And then this video will be over. It's taking the last rough cut right now. Now it comes out, takes a nice little finish pass. Now one thing we didn't do is run it through simulation and that's something that you have to do after you write every program. I was just trying to make this video shorter than a half an hour because all my videos seem to go longer. But um, so let's reset this and let's uh, show you how to run it through simulation. So you're gonna go left soft key program then you're gonna to go toolpath. You're gonna to go part shape. What part shape does is puts your part shape up. Then you're gonna hit path continue. And it runs your path. This concludes our facing program and video of run. Hope you liked it. Have a good day. Okay, bye.